remember, everything's gonna be fine. I promise. I need a mirror. Now. Well, you, good thing we banned the mirrors from the monastery last week. Um, so, you know what? But you know, I have a piece of glass that if we shine you the sun, it will reflect your face. Here. <laughs> that, that'll, that'll take attention off the ball spot. Just the ears just right. Oh, my arms are tired. I can't see this anymore. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we need a costume for Francis. That's true. You know... Something Easter related, but at the same time, something that can be accepted in a monastery. Well, how about a nun robe? Ah, <laughs> I just gotta stretch out. <laughs> that nun robe. Wait, you gotta practice for it. Yeah, you know you're right. This is a good lesson for the children now. 
We need a spike. We need to get some, some, uh, some, 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 you know what I'm saying. Not horror. horror. Not just horror. Zombie horror. <laughs> In three, two, one. <laughs> um, I know it's your shirt. It's okay. It's okay. I just want your brain. <laughs> I have a day tonight. I have a day tonight. Let me go on a date and you can have my brain after the day. Keep the shirt. I want the brain. <laughs> a lot of people do. It's really good. It's smart. It's big. It's wonderful. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know what else to do other than tell you that your shirt smell. They smell. I'm dead. <laughs> That's why they would smell. <laughs> okay, I will uh I'll uh, take that up. Whoever else. When did you turn into a zombie? <laughs> You're my roommate! I died yesterday. You were too busy digging through my closet. <laughs> that was a lot better. I like it. I it. But I smell, I smell it hits. I think what I know what this needs. Science fixing daytime soap up. In three, two, one, two. Is that my shirt? Yes. Give it to me. It's your sister's shirt. <laughs> you look so good. That's what she said. She's, she was, sorry. She, she's right. Well, you know, we've been secretly seeing each other for 16 years. Really? That long? Yes, yeah. I mean, that's crazy. But you won't know. You can't tell her. You just can't tell her. I that, won't. That you know. I won't. It's a big secret. Stay between us. I mean, with a tire like that, I can't see. I can see why she would. would well, I mean, that was nothing until I started your, trying your clothes on, and that's why I've never let you move out. No, the I hipster, need your wardrobe. The hipster style is, is very popular. Cut! I'm wrong. <laughs> Got it, guys. We can make this a little bit more cerebral. We're gonna do the Shakespearean stuff. <laughs> In three, two, one. Is that thou, Maoist shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it, I hear? Oh, uh, young, uh, away. To well, uh, there might be a question of land. I could try like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, you're right. And when we wear these burkas, nobody will be able to suspect anything. 
Zebra's hiding them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I saw that on Discovery. <laughs> Burgers are great. They, they keep my head warm and, uh, well, everything else. Because <laughs> we want to be warm and we want to be out of sight. Threat. <laughs> is, is that? <laughs> That's your mother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Safe. She took her work off. <laughs> Great Scott. I told her time and time again not to do that. How are we gonna do this? Okay. <coughs> grab her ankles. I know, and you grab her feet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just kidding. <laughs> Milking a cow in the night, and how about one more? 
Improv dance. Improv dance. Turning up a dance. Turning into a platypus. And what? Turning into a platypus. Turning into a platypus. You got it? You can ride a platypus. That's your work. That's plenty. They'll probably not even get to all of these. All right. Get some music off, please. Bring the actors up.
closes. We're going to be playing a game called Press Conference. Brad is going to be a famous person, but he doesn't know who he is. He's going to come in here and he's going to answer questions that the press, which is the other cast, is going to ask him questions. And through these questions, he's going to try to figure out who he is. So let's give Brad something, a, a, a very famous person that everybody would know. Benjamin Franklin. Actually, that's a pretty good one. All right, so he's going to be coming in as Benjamin Franklin. He's going to be giving a press conference. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> trying to answer the questions to the best of his ability, and through asking those questions, he's going to try to figure out who he is. All right, can we get our press up front, please? Bring in the famous person. Coming for another press conference, a short notice. Uh, I'll try to be as honest as I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, are there any questions? Uh, I've last weekly. Um, your specs seem to be ahead of your time. Uh, where did you get them? Oh, out of a dictionary. <laughs> 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 Scott, the Washington Post. Is that a new win? Well, I have a set. Um, wigs in my closet, um, but I don't know how new this is. I think it's sort of new. Thanks. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, International Traveler Weekly. Um, I have a question here. You, it says here that you spend a lot of time in France. Um, how is the weather there this, these days? France. I really, uh, never really, um, France is not a place, I mean, I, I go there, but I don't really go outside very much. Hey, so, <laughs> so, good question. I'm from Money Magazine. Um, why 100? <laughs> <laughs> because that's, you know, that's just, that's the power number. I mean, it's the power number. It's, it's what gets attention. When you make it rain with 100, it's just... <laughs> All right, all the next. Um, can you give us what the weather is possibly supposed to be over the next year? Every day? Uh, <laughs> you can look that up. Uh, I, I think there's going to be a lot of lightning, though. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, a uh, couple more questions. Yeah, I'm from International Enquirer. I was wondering if you've been there before. <laughs> Your job as their puppet masters 
to move them for them when they need to move. So Ethan, if you wanted to raise Ty's hand, you just simply pick it up like that, you can leave it there, and notice it stays exactly where you left it. You can put it back down if you want. You can turn his head left to right, not 360, Ian. You can reach his butt, you can slay, it doesn't matter, he'll, he'll figure it out. And if you want to bend them over, you can bend them over, stand them up. Most importantly, if you want to make them move, because they're not statues, you can tap them behind the leg, and they'll take a step forward. If you want them to move backwards, tap them on the front of the leg, and they will move backwards. So listen to what they kind of need you to do. They can only speak, they can't move their own bodies. Do you have any questions? No? You look excited. All right. <laughs> can I get um, a relationship for these two people? Not a family relationship, but two people. How do they know each other? Boss and employee. Boss and employee. Can I get an occupation, please? Fan fiction writers. <laughs> you guys are fan fiction writers, good puppets, and uh, you, one of you is the boss, the other is the employee, fan fiction writers, follow their lead, and feel free to move them to something else funny if you wanted to, it's up to them to justify it. So they're the puppets, you're the puppet masters, in three, two, one. Jerry, I told you you need to write the new story about Twilight! Oh, Phil, not again. <laughs> You! <laughs> Write it now! Oh, there you are! <laughs> my arm is stuck to my head. I can't write. You have a left hand. You can... <laughs> Back me! Yes, I'm going to walk in front of you so that you can see what sort of man I am. You are one amazing specimen of a man. <laughs> Thank you. I can't even stand to look at you. <laughs> you know what? Something's over here that might help you out. Um, I'm gonna go to it. <laughs> my neck hurts. I need to crack it. Uh, over there. Over, over where? This way. It's a typewriter that will definitely help us oh. write some fiction novels. <laughs> Yes, sir. 